sweet potatoes. Who doesn't like them? It is one of the easiest plants you can grow in your garden. All you have to do is put down a slip and let it grow. Did you know that you can eat every part of the sweet potato? From the tuber to the green vine of the sweet potato. What's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel. Today, I want to show you guys how to grow some sweet potato slips and get hundreds of slips and grow tons of sweet potato. Let's go. Once I got my sweet potato from the store, I got a container with water and then soak them in. I leave this on for two hours or so, so that way it will wash off all the chemical they may spray in to keep the sweet potato have a longer life shelf. So after two hours, I take it out and this is my number one method of trying to sprout sweet potato is with soil. So what you want to do is that you want to get a tray of soil like this or you can use a pot uh, soil. And then you should basically just lay it down halfway and cover up the sweet potato. And I found this way is the most effective way preventing the sweet potato from rotting. And the second method I use is that um, I use a cup of water, like a full container like this. And I take the sweet potato and then just leave it in the cup of water to sit it like this, half exposed to the air and half submerged under the water. However, I do not like this method because you have to maintain the water. You want to keep the water clean so that way it doesn't grow bacteria. And then if you forget to change it, the water turn brown and becomes stinky. And then you start like getting fruit flies and some bugs start to collect in there. So this method is, it works, but I don't like this method. And sometimes the sweet potato also rot as well. I, another method to get your sweet potato is that buying the slip directly from the grocery market. Um, here at my Asian grocery store, they sell these sweet potato slip or yam that you eat the greens like this and you saute this or boil this and it tastes like spinach. And what you can do with this is that you can just pinch up the leaves like so. And then you got to get a cup of water and put it in a cup of water, then the root will eventually swell out and pop a bit. Or you can get this and directly sow it into the ground on the soil. And then afterwards, you can just making sure that it is hydrated and moist. So that way it doesn't dry it out. Now the method is that you can go up to Etsy, right? And go on there to search for Pacific sweet potato variety that you like. And then you can purchase from them. However, some of the slip potato is pretty expensive buying online. So that is the trade-off if you don't want to propagate it from uh, sweet potatoes. So now once it is done, I'm going to take this and put it on my heat mat. And if you don't have a heat mat, you can put it next to the window shield or somewhere that is very warm. Alright, so now that I got my sweet potato prep and everything, I put it on my heat mat. Because sweet potato love heat and this is how you get your sweet potato to put out new slip and pushing out root faster because of the heat. So I put this on my heat mat. Uh, I want to give this some good watering. So that way it doesn't dry it out. So these are my sweet potato that I'm growing right now. That is pushing out shoot or slips as you can see. And a lot of them I already pinched it out and then put in a cup of water already. And as you can see, look at this one. There are a lot of slip starting to form right here in this top. Right there and down there. And this orange yam right here is pushing out some slip as well. And here's a tiny one right there. On that end, there's a bunch of over there. All right. And here is the rest of the slip that I pinch out and I put it in the cup. And you see here, it's a bunch of roots that I start forming already. So this is ready to be put in the ground or in a pot of soil for us to uh, Start developing with some uh, sweet potatoes. Here's the one that I put in water, and the sweet potato is kind of like looking like dead and dried up and starting to rot and become moldy. However, there is some sign of life right here. Some kind of white forming root coming out right there, I think. So I'm just going to keep this in a cup and see what's coming out of it. 
the one that I put in the soil, this is what it looked like. So you guys can see the skin is becoming bumpy and then root is forming a little bit. I think, let me see, see any sign of roots or not. And then over here, I have uh, some more sweet potato right here that I planted together with my dragon fruit that's in a pot. So as you can see, you don't really need like a big tubo. You can just need like this tiny sweet potato right here and then it will give you a bunch of slip. All right. And then over here as well, this one. So this one is ready to be pinched and then put it in the water. Right there. You can see there's a bunch of slip is pushing out from this one sweet potato. So I'm going to pinch this. Like that. See? Bunch of roots already. And then I'm going to bring it over here and then put in my cup of water right here. So it continues to grow. So there it is, guys. That's how you get 100 sweet potato slips out of just one sweet potato and grow tons of tons of sweet potato. My goal this year is to get at least 100 pounds of sweet potato at the end of the season. So make sure to subscribe and follow along to see my journey. I'll see you guys later.